Odds on this featherweight fight between unbeatens. Here it is, Brian T. City Ortega, number eight in the world, 26 years old, the Brazilian. And Otto Moicano, number nine in the world, is 28. Moicano, three inches taller. He will have a three-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the introductions. Back inside the octagon to Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter holding an undefeated professional record, 11 wins, no losses, one draw. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds, fighting out of Brasilia, Brazil, presenting the number nine ranked featherweight contender in the world, and not and now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding an undefeated professional record, 11 wins, no losses, one no contest, he stands 5 feet 8 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, presenting the number 8 ranked featherweight contender in the world, Brian T. City Ortega! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Jason Herzog. Jason Herzog in there for this featherweight tilt. Ariane Celeste is here. Thank you, Ariane. We are ready to go here with Hanato Moicano and Brian T. City Ortega. Ortega telling me he feels like his fight IQ is the biggest improvement he's made dating to his UFC debut. And we've really seen him get more polished with his finishing skills. Knockouts in two of his last three. He is also the only fighter in UFC history with three consecutive third round finishes. So some of them of the more attritive variety. But Ortega returning from a layoff of more than a year here tonight. He's in blue, Hanato Moicano in black. I really want to see what happens when this fight goes to the later rounds. Uh, Ortega was the last one to weigh in. He came in almost two minutes before the weigh-in deadline. So was that a hard cut or was he just waiting to weigh in? We're not sure, but that type of stuff usually plays dividends in the third round. Let's we'll see if, if exhaustion sets in because of the weight cut. We don't know. Moicano always has a lot of wins by decision. He's very sharp with his game plan and how he chooses to throw and approach fights. And Moicano's coming off a huge victory with Jeremy Stevens. I mean, uh, Jeremy Stevens is one of the most dangerous featherweights in the world. And a, a victory over him is absolutely gigantic for this young man's career. But Brian Ortega, as we were saying before the break, or during the break, Brian Ortega might have some of the best Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in this division, particularly off of his back. He's sensational. Can't wait till the fight goes there. He's clipped him with the right hand. Ortega clipped Moicano. He caught him with the left. This is a completely different style fight that we saw with Moicano versus Jeremy Stevens. He was backing up the whole fight, pulling Jeremy to him. In this fight, we're seeing him stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Ortega. And that just shows that Moicano's able to adapt to each opponent differently. He doesn't fight everybody the same. It has to be that way if you're going to be in the top five of the division. You have to change according to each person you fight. Well, the thing about Ortega is so many people think about his jiu-jitsu, you forget that his striking is very clean and getting better all the time. He's a 26-year-old, started his UFC career at 23, and you're just seeing improvement from this young man all the time. Well, what I love about that, Joe, the re a big reason his striking can be so effective is because look how, how he can press forward. Right. He presses forward because he has no worry of takedowns. Right. A lot of us MMA fighters have to worry about the takedown for points. Ortega does not care, so he can throw with reckless abandonment without thinking of takedowns. Yeah, uh, we've got an eye poke here. Yeah, he can stand up straight and not worry right. about it and actually encourage yeah. a fighter to take him down. And throw more power because throwing power generally telegraphs punches and allows the takedown. He doesn't care. Similar to what we see out of Jacare. Just throw everything he has in all his punches. And Ortega is very unique in his jiu-jitsu that he is a specialist off his back. Maybe one of the best guys in MMA today off his back. Just ate a kick to the jaw real quick though for Moicano. You don't want either of these guys on your back. Hanato Moicano, five career wins by submission, all of them by rear naked choke. And for Ortega, we're seeing the development, as Joe mentioned, in his striking. He spent much of the last year rehabbing a shoulder injury. Last UFC fight, the knockout of Clay Guida at UFC 199, also in SoCal, June of 2016.
look how close these guys are. They're right face to face, touching each other's hands. It's like a Muay Thai battle with four ounce gloves on. Hard leg kick there by Ortega. Caught. There's that flexibility you were talking about, Joe. I mean, look, that, most people are down after you catch a kick like that. Good kick to the body by Moikana. Everything Moikana's throwing with fight any intentions. Counter there is good from Ortega. 90 seconds to go round one. Ortega looking nice and loose in there. I like what I'm seeing. Well, he's moving his trunk so well. Look how close these guys are. Moicano can't find his head because Ortega's moving his trunk so well. His feet stay still, but his trunk moves, which allows the counter for Ortega. Ortega said he had a lot of respect for Moicano's ability to find ways to win throughout his career, but he said as humbly as he could, he feels like he's better everywhere. And Moicano with a nice counter right there. Moicano caught him there with that right hand. You never see MMA fights this close together. I mean, nowadays these fights are much farther apart. These guys are right in the pocket of each other just training. Yeah, and it's largely a boxing match here. Moicano over the top. Nice jab by Moicano. Under 30 seconds to go in the round. He has landed that right hand over the top repeatedly on Ortega in this first round. T-City now closing the distance. The nose of Moicano is a mess. I would bet Moicano's nose is broken. Okay, let's breathe. We're going to have to put, put press harder in the second round now, man. You won the round. You got, you got it. He, he, he got the harder shots than you. Could you have to put your speed to play. Put the first hand to get there, come to the right, and keep on with the straight. But you have to vary. He's not, he's not, he doesn't want to be in the pocket with you. When he starts to get, when he starts to get comfortable in the pocket right there, can we go do for a little takedown? That little high crotch you join me every single time. Dump him, boom! As he gets back up, we we'll take the net. You look great, champ. Sure. You look great, Brian. You look great. This Wednesday, soccer's best. Step into the primetime spotlight on FS1 as the MLS All-Stars take on Real Madrid live from Chicago Soldier Field. It's the MLS All-Star game Wednesday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern on FS1. All right, second round here, Brian Ortega in blue. Hanato Moicano is in black. You heard Henner Gracie Joe in the corner of Brian Ortega. Pretty pointed advice and, and maybe looking for him to go for the takedown here or something. Yeah, I mean, the first fight, the first round, rather, was essentially a boxing match with a few kicks mixed in. And Ortega did really well in that. And you saw the bloodiness all over the face of Moicano. Ooh, nice head kick there by Moicano. <laughs> just just that, caught him at the end. Don't forget, when those land that close, they're able to land later on in the rounds the most. I mean, they're just touching Ortega, but that's the second one to land on Ortega's, Ortega's chin. He needs to keep his hands up on that right side. Left side, excuse me. A nice leg kick there by Moicano, and he caught him with a left hook as he's moving in as well. They feel that Ortega will have a significant advantage on the ground. Oof, nice hand Moicano, work. yeah. Loosening up here in the second. Going high low with his combinations is key for Moicano. Very nice. Jab, right hand to the body, left hook to the head. Ooh, right hand over the top. He's making some good adjustments in the second round. I just like some more kicks from Moicano inside outside kicks to kind of switch up the reads of Ortega and from Ortega I would like to see him attempt to get this fight to the ground also look at the way Moicano kind of stares in the mirror is what we call where you just kind of look at your opponent oh good combination beautiful combination ended by that kick to the body he poked him again apparently 
Jason Herzog didn't see it. Fighters can't call timeout, so we trudge onward. Stiff jab there from Brian Ortega, but Moicano with this output, he can keep up this pace over over 15 hard minutes. He's really loading up on his shots here. Nice jab. Ooh. Oh, man. Beautiful. Oh, and he wants that kick again. Yep, that high kick is landing, and, and Ortega's starting to lose focus. He gets hit, and he gets mad at himself instead of just staying on the fight. He needs to just focus, keep the forward pressure, rip the body of Moicano right now because Moicano's countering him very well when he reaches for Moicano's head. So Ortega needs to go to the body to make an adjustment right now. Yeah, we're seeing a much more effective Hinato Moicano in this second round. Really made some good adjustments. Moicano's landed 47 head strikes already. And Ortega seems largely unfazed as he presses forward. Two and a half now to go in round two. And this is what I mean. Look at Moicano kind of sitting there staring. You see, faints really do dividends for Brian Ortega here. If he would switch and fake a little bit. When you see Moicano looking to land the power of the counter. He looked to fake a takedown there and go for a spinning elbow. Again, the total starting to pile up for Hinato Moicano. This is just the numbers for round two. Another beautiful right hand over the top of the Brazil. Yeah, far better round for Moicano. I mean, we're really seeing what he's capable of here in the second. And this is the Moicano that we saw against Jeremy Stevens. Actually, against Jeremy Stevens, he moved far more. He was never training with Jeremy Stevens. If he did, Jeremy would have been happier, I think. The fact that Moicano is sitting in the center with Ortega here is because Moicano believes that he has more power than Ortega. When it came to Stevens, he wanted to back up and pull Stevens to him, get Jeremy to chase him. He's fighting completely different, and it's actually working very well for him against Ortega right now, standing in the pocket. Ortega right hand. Right. I agree with you tactically. What I meant was just the effectiveness. Beautiful jab there by Moicano as well. But Ortega now having some success with that right hand that landed. I want to see him close his distance more and at least make an attempt as his corner was requesting to get this takedown. Nice uppercut from T-City. He's got an outstanding gas tank in his own right. He's gone five rounds twice, won both of those fights. Nice left. Oh, man. Wow, these guys are trading in the center. They're both exchanging. And they're giving each other turns on who's going to be offensive. All right, my turn. All right, your turn. All right, my turn. And they're just winging them in the telephone booth right now. I mean, look, their knees are almost touching. Their feet are almost touching. Their heads are almost touching. It's a different range these two are fighting right now. All boxing. And very little leg kicks. Well, Moicano has landed more, but his face is busted up here towards the tail end of round two. The forward pressure of Ortega is what's giving Moicano some issues, and very nice there lead. There's the takedown. I mean, Joe, you said when Moicano walked, he really mixes it up well, can do it all, and a timely takedown for the Brazilian here at the end of round two. Round three coming up. Muito bom, Renato. Senta aqui e respira. Sit down and breathe. Muito bom. Very good. A toalha, Gabriel. Yes. Respira, Renato. Respira a fundo. Tá igual round, tá? Tá igual round. Tá empatado. Now it's now we're tired. Respira. Calmar. Ó, ganhou esse round. Tá um a um. Só que é o seguinte, o cara tá igualando no jogo em pé. But he's managed to equalize standing up. Tem que dar uma variada no jogo. Tem que dar mais. Tem que dar mais. When he tries to hit you in the, in the chest, okay, let's try the knee. Listen, I know, I know, you haven't shot yet. You haven't even grabbed his legs once, Fred. I just need one. Okay, put him on his ass one time. He builds it back up, then we get back to the game plan. But when he's too comfortable in the pocket right there, you do your thing, okay? We need one right here. Okay, play, play half the round. Second half, we go for that takedown. Can you get a word against I need at least one, Brian, before we go home. No, no, no. Well, Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series rolls on this Tuesday, August 1st. You can only see it on UFC Fight Pass. Rising stars featured in the iconic Tough Gym. We got the Snoop Cats going on. And find out, most importantly, who Dana will pick to receive a UFC contract. The Contender Series live and streaming exclusively on Fight Pass Tuesday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Moicano is firing. <laughs>
And Don, after round two, they got the memo, more kicks desired out of the Brazilian Mocambo. And let's see if he listens. It would be, it's a great read to finish your combinations with kicks if you're more kind of beat the legs up like he's doing here. It'll give something different for Ortega to adjust to in this third round, which he hasn't seen yet. And in Ortega's corner, they were employing beautiful leg kick again there by Marcano. In Ortega's corner, they were asking him to play for the beginning of the round and then go for that takedown. Henry Gracie pleading with him for that. Well, nice guys can take a shot. Those leg kicks are going to start adding up with the forward pressure, but right now that nose of Marcano is just blown up right now. Body shots of Ortega are adding up. That's what you've got to do with somebody who's countering you. Whenever you throw at their head and they're countering you, you start ripping the body. It takes away their counters, and then their hands will start dropping over time. That's what we're seeing Ortega switch to the body. And he's doing a good job of moving around the guard of Moicano. As Moicano tries to protect himself, the body's what he leaves exposed. And Moicano is doing the right thing, starting with the kicks. I'd like to see him finish his combination with the kicks like his coaches want. I think that would play huge dividends for him. I think he's a little tired from the pressure of Ortega. Don't forget, the forward pressure of Ortega takes away the kicking opportunities from Moicano. He went for that fake takedown spinning elbow again. Is Moicano thinking like I landed almost 100 strikes to his head? Does he even swell? I mean, is there any frustration when you hit a guy with your best shots and he seems unfazed? Right now, on Moicano, I'm thinking, Rip the body, beat up the legs, because he doesn't care if he gets punched in the face. Right. And that was a beautiful leg kick right there that he landed as Ortega was coming in. Caught him and he slid back. Under three minutes now to go. Two undefeated top ten featherweights here. Now Moicano appears to be picking his spot, his spots here late in the fight. You see, Joe, how we see Ortega sit in the pocket and he just brings the hand up and covers his face up. Yeah, go straight up, elbows stay on the hips, and that's because he doesn't care about the takedown. Most guys have to move to keep the takedown opportunity from being there. That's why Ortega is able to sit in the pocket the way he is, because he doesn't care if you shoot. Well, we've hit the halfway point. And it's Moicano looking to take Ortega down. But look at this. That's right into a guillotine. That's why he wants you to Not shoot. Not good. That's that it. That's it. He's sitting. So the fight goes to the ground.